Hey everybody, it's Tom, WA2IVD. Those of you that are regular viewers or who have subscribed to my channel have probably noticed I haven't posted anything in quite a while now. The backdrop that you can see behind me is a little bit of a hint to that. I wanted to put this short video out to update you as to what's going on and to let you know that I am going to be posting on the 7300, the 7100, other radios, antennas, projects, and hopefully some more interesting stuff starting very soon. Let's take a look at what's been going on. If you've been watching my channel, you may have noticed in several videos that I have commented about my temporary antenna setups and the fact that I didn't have space to put up much of an antenna. Our house in Kansas was in an HOA and on top of that it was a rental, so I was quite restricted in what I could set up outside. I also made several videos at my father-in-law's house in upstate New York. He has more space, but since we're there intermittently, I haven't put up anything permanent. As you may have guessed from the opening backdrop, we recently purchased a home in Kansas, and this one has plenty of antenna space available. There is no HOA, and there are plenty of trees to support wire antennas. There's also plenty of room for a tower, or even towers, Unfortunately, now that I have a mortgage payment again, it will probably be a while before even a used tower will fit into the budget. My wife is also licensed, and she is generally pretty supportive. However, she probably would not rank a tower near the top of her list as a landscaping accessory. With that in mind, this property has a feature that I hope to take advantage of. There's a stand of trees on a rock hill behind the house. When the time comes... I should be able to put up a tower in the clear and still keep it mostly hidden from view at the house. I should have recorded an upcoming status video before we moved to let you know that I would be off the air for a while. Instead, I naively thought that I would be able to manage getting out at least a few videos during the moving process. Even though we aren't very far from where we were renting, all the boxing, moving, getting settled in was taking a lot more time and effort than I had planned for. Videos and ham radio have had to take a back seat for a little while. I really should have known better since we have moved several times over the years. The room that will become my office, ham shack, and studio also needed some repairs and updating, and it just made a lot more sense to take care of that now before I get everything moved in and set up. As I said in the opening, I expect to be back up and running with some new videos very soon. I have received comments from several of you, and I promise that I will get more videos coming on the IC7100. I'm looking forward to working on antenna project videos now that I have some space. I'm also excited about the possibilities for antenna comparison videos and other projects that can make a little more use of the space that I have. One other bonus of having land in the country is a good view of the night sky. This is nothing spectacular, but I was able to get this picture of Comet Neowise the other day with just my DSLR on a tripod in the backyard. I want to thank all of you for your questions and kind words over the last few months. I really appreciate you watching and subscribing to my channel. I also appreciate your patience during my rather sudden hiatus. As always, thanks for watching. I'm Tom, WA2IVD, and this is Ham Cured smoke.